This is your back to school headquarters and the U.S. Department of Education released their return to school roadmap as districts prepare for in person learning this fall. Elise Haas has a breakdown of key guidelines and how leaders in Washington and Oregon are responding. While the CDC strongly recommends that students, faculty and staff wear masks at school this year, they say it will be up to the schools ultimately to decide for what they want to do. The roadmap includes three landmark priorities for schools, which includes prioritizing the health and safety of students, staff and educators, building school communities and supporting students social, emotional and mental health as well as accelerating academic achievement. In response to this federal guidance, Washington's Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction says this will be such a helpful resource for Washington schools and families for full in-person learning this fall. They hope that the schools will utilize this guidance and tools to support their return to the buildings. The Oregon Department of Education tells me their plans, protocols and commitments aligns perfectly with the roadmap from the federal government. But the one key difference here is that both Washington and Oregon have mask mandates indoors at schools. And I have been reaching out to several local school districts, Evergreen School District, Vancouver, Portland Public Schools, just to see where they are at with their plans. And they say they're still just trying to iron out the last final details. In fact, Portland Public Schools is having a public board meeting tonight. So if you want to listen to the school board and see what issues they're talking about and finalizing, I've included a link to that live stream at coin.com, and it will start at 5 p.m. In Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.